Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The Roman Republic began in the 6th century BC and lasted until the 1st century BC and the establishment of the Roman Empire. The Roman Republic was both an example and a warning to the American founders. For centuries, people were devoted to the common good. In fact, Cicero, a Roman statesman whose writings deeply influenced Western civilization, wrote that public life was the highest calling. He asked public officials to keep the common good foremost in their minds. He wrote, All those who would assume the mantle of public affairs would be well advised to heed two of Plato's rules. First, to keep the best interests of the people so clearly in view that whatever their own interests, those of the people will guide their conduct. And second, to care for the well-being of the whole body politic, and not that of any one political party, especially not one which is prepared to betray the interests of the state for its own gain. The administration of the affairs of state must be taken like a public trust, to be undertaken for the benefit of those entrusted to one's care, and not for the benefit of those upon whom the trust is conferred. However, during Cicero's lifetime, Roman public officials grew selfish and corrupt. After a series of civil wars, the people accepted Julius Caesar as dictator in order to restore order and stability. The Roman Republic ended, and a period of dictatorship began. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute. <laughs> <laughs>